Well, hey guys, hi, this Brent Abel here. Gold ball hunting. That dude over there, yes. Yes, in the background, which we'll be talking about after we do the introduction here. But uh, thanks again for hanging out with us again. Another episode of the Gold Ball Hunting Podcast. And today, we're going to talk about something with uh, not only the backhand volley, but the volley in general that just drives us out of our minds. So hang in there because uh, we got something we want to we want to kind of dive into today. So the big question is this, how are tennis players like us who never played on the tour, weren't incredible juniors, or maybe got a late start to the game, how do we consistently compete at our highest skill level without having to grind through endless hours of encore practice time and still be in the hunt for the victory match after match? That is the question, and Gold Ball Hunting gives you the answers by helping you eliminate your skill level range so that you build a strong foundation of confidence. My name is Jeff Jacklich, and along with Brent Abel, my partner, welcome to Gold Ball Hunting. Well, guys, thanks for uh, hanging out with us today in their episode of the Gold Ball Hunting Podcast. Jeffrey, what's going on, man? That looks like, that background looks like something familiar that we haven't seen for a while. Where might yeah. you be there, matey? I'm, I'm, I'm back at, um, you know, Global Mobile HQ. <laughs> In the West Coast here in the Napa Valley. <laughs> Outstanding. Well, it's been five yeah. months five months in Pontiac, Michigan at the Wesson Lawn Tennis Club. And um, and now you're back in the Northern California area. You traveled there from Texas yesterday. Uh, yeah. So you're sort of working your way through time zones as you get back to the yeah. back to Pacific time zone. Yeah, you don't want to shock the system. You know, you just want to... <laughs> It's your way back. I got it. I got it. One time. So, yeah, it was great, time. Uh, great uh, beautiful day yesterday here in the Napa Valley. Cool. Um, cool. Immediately had to go up Valley and have a nice lunch. Darn it. At, you know, darn it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it was a nice, uh, Good it was a nice touchdown, and uh, here we are. Well, cool. Well, cool. Well, listen, guys, a couple things before we get started on today's topic, which is uh, going to be a rant, by the way. I'm already feeling... <laughs> I'm already feeling that rant feeling. Um, but before we get a little get hot in, in the collar, it's getting a little hot in the collar. Yeah, and the fist keeps balling up. Keep, you know, God dang it. Um, before we get into it, a couple things. Number one, uh, Jeff is in back in Northern California, and uh, he's going to be there for right around seven months, starting in a week or 10 days. He's available for some on court coaching. Uh, at two locales in Northern California. Number one's in the East Bay, a little bit east of San Francisco and Berkeley, on a beautiful private court in Lafayette. Uh, he'll be there a couple of days a week for a few hours each day, uh, and then uh, also in the North Bay, Napa Valley, another beautiful court. So, gosh, I mean, not only are you getting the great Jeffrey Jacklich, but uh, some pretty good locales, pretty good venues to do it at. Best way to get in touch with Jeff if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area you want to do some on-court coaching, email is let us know at goldballhunting.com. And uh, you can also find Jeff over at Facebook. Just search for Jeff Jacklich and uh, yeah. he'll pop up. You'll find him. Yeah. Um, any other words on that, on the coaching thing? On uh, No, I'll just, uh, you know, the weather looks like it's going to be pretty nice here through the end of October into November. So, you know, take advantage of the of the the weather possibilities here in beautiful Northern California, you know, somebody already did. So, uh, you That's know, great. so somebody already found me on uh, Facebook and, uh, we're going to be hooking up here, uh, in a, in a week or so. Good, uh, good. Get them on the court. And then one of our, one of our listeners. So, yeah. Uh, good for you. That's great. Um, well, the other thing too, is Jeff and I are still offering a free private, uh, coaching call. Just the three of us. We get in the phone and we chat about the one thing in your game right now that you feel like you're stuck on, you can't quite figure out. And if you could figure it out, you might start getting that ultimate result, that end result you want, whether it's singles or doubles. Uh, the way to get in that call is go over to goldballhunting.com, drop in a first name and email address, click the button, you'll get immediate access to our online calendar scheduler. Cherry pick a date and time that works best for you. If you're already on our email list, come on. Somewhere, there is a link in every one of our emails that says, let's get this thing done. 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it takes. Uh, but you got to bring one thing. You can't bring the whole laundry list because we want to <laughs> knock down that big domino, that big, that one big thing that might make all those other little things kind of irrelevant. So uh, 
Anyway, uh, Jeff, so we've been talking about the backhand volley the last yeah. few days. And the reason we're talking about it is because this upcoming week, today is Saturday, uh, October 5, and yeah. uh, starting Monday, October 7th, uh, we're leading up to um, a course that, that you and I put together that, it, that promises to, to really solve the problems with, with uh, the backhand volley that not only you and I have gone through, maybe right. less for you, because I knew that you came out of the womb kind of going, oh, I got this, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> me, maybe not so much. I, I, I need more help, but I got, I got, I got a ton of help with, with Mr. Stowe. Um, but we hear a lot of, uh, you know, problems with the backhand volley. A lot of them are just kind of basically, you know, inconsistent, not accurate, um, and not really taking advantage of those offensive opportunities that are always presenting themselves, whether it's serve and volley, whether it's chip and charge, whether it's just an approach shot, there's, right. um, there are lots of opportunities that we want to take care of with that backhand volley. So starting on Thursday of this week, guys, we're going to uh, open up, a. a a big opportunity for you to get inside the course that we've got. I, I, I know that you'll love. In the meantime, here's one of the things, Jeff, that I never got. I never really figured this thing out, and I heard it from day one. Brent, come on, man. you got to punch the volley. Yeah. Punch, like I said, yeah. like, you mean like, what am I? Am I, is it a jab? Is it a, to the body? Is it an upper Is it hook? a roundhouse? Is, is it a, a coming is it around? A yeah. Is it uh you know, a sucker punch. And I never figured it out. And I remember going to right. Mr. Stowe and he just kind of chuckled and laughed and go, just forget that thing. We're not going to be doing any punching out here. Okay. Right. So <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, in your, in your teaching thing or your playing thing, I mean, I, I'm sure you've heard this. It's got to drive you crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I say, oh my gosh, let me say it again. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. I, and, I, and I think, I, you know, from, from, a, from a mechanic standpoint, you know, the technical side of it, when, when that term is used, you know, again, we, we've, we've talked so much about this. What's the, how is the student defining the term? As much as you define it as a teacher trying to use that term, What's, how is the student defining it in terms of feel and the body mechanics that follow? So I've watched this over and over and over and over again. I know you have too. And the body mechanic that basically gets translated is that it becomes a push, the, the, this pushing action that happens because they're, they're supposed to punch. And I can tell you this, that um, I'm not a boxer. So I know technically... I don't know how to really technically punch correctly, but I'm going to guess that that action is not quite the same action as hitting a clean, technically sound volley. I'm going to guess that those two things aren't even remotely related. I don't know. Anybody can call me on this. I'm, I'm open for a discussion. But <laughs> I can tell you this. The, the, the word itself has nothing to do with what it is you're trying to impart on the ball, control it, um, the, the what you'd like to have happen to the ball the, the two things don't don't actually relate to each other in in my view i just i just no, think it's I, just a it's i totally a, agree i, I mean, think it's a, it's like uh what's the word i'm looking for it's it's really i think it's a it's low-hanging fruit in terms of terminology to use to describe the volley itself and i and i think it's i think it lacks intellectual integrity if you're using that term as, as a method of, yeah, yeah. of describing it, I right. think. Well, no, I mean, and, and for me, I mean, I, I just said, well, I hear it so much. This is, this is pre Stowe before Stowe BS right. BS before Stowe, not, not the other kind of BS. Um, a bit of both. <laughs> yeah, could be. But you know, I, yeah, I, I'd heard that term. And so I, I just tried it and it never really, it never got. It never brought up a picture, a clear picture in my mind as to what punching meant with the volley, and and you're right. I mean, it had no relation between boxing, um, and 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 hitting a volley. I just never, I never felt it. And maybe that was one of the reasons that that before I saw Mister So, I was so far out in front 
with my right. ta- with with my contact point and and that obviously never really led to the ultimate thing that you were just describing well, what do we want to what do we want to make the ball do well we want to make right. the ball when it's over there hopefully have a little skid to it stay a little bit low so that if and when your opponent gets to touch it it's really out of their strike zone and and they've and they've got to hit back up and and so um I just, again, I remember going to Mr. Stowe and, and he said, well, what are you thinking here? And I, I said, well, I, I'm supposed to be, you know, punching. And he just, <laughs> did you say it like this? <laughs> punching? Yeah, I did. I said, <laughs> Cause I, I knew he was going to, you know, he, he didn't yeah. literally just get, but he did kind of chuckle and he just went, oh man, just, okay. Look, all right, fine. Forget it. Just, just take that, just take it out. Yeah. And, um, and that's when we started working on the volley. So, guys, look, I, I would love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section, no matter where you are, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or, you know, maybe in the um, on the audio, audio thing, wherever it is. Just let us know. I mean, do you ever hear the term punch and did it ever not make sense to you? And if it made sense to you, God, let me know or let us know how that how that yeah. kind of translated for you um yeah so guys listen um thanks for hanging out with us again today and just a couple of quick reminders again jeff is in the northern california bay area available for lessons for a while until that that uh, schedule gets booked up which i know you've already got a a bunch of students from before when you left so i'm assuming that there's not a lot of hours available but um right um so get get in touch with him either over at facebook uh, or let us know at goldballhunting.com is the email address. And then, guys, for sure, uh, free, private coaching call, 10, 12, 15 minutes, whatever we need to help set you on that path, start getting that result that you want in your singles or doubles game. Just go over to goldballhunting.com and uh, you drop in a first name and email address, click the button, and boom ski. You're going to be you're gonna be all set. Uh, Jeff, what do we want to find folks to do right now? Like us, share us, please subscribe. Let us know what you think down below. iTunes and Stitcher, rate and review. And you know what? You're on the computer right now. You're on your phone right now. You're somewhere right now listening to this, which means you have access to the buttons. Goldballhoney.com. Share that with a friend. Share it with a friend. All right, guys. (laughs) Get out there today, wherever that is. Help someone else have a great day, Jeff. Uh, Let's do this again tomorrow. Can't wait.